Get away from my wife. William pissed off gave Meg fatal slap after her aggressive behavior to Kate. This week, New Idea reports Kate Middleton was devastated when Prince Harry jetted back to the States without sitting down with her and Prince William. Kate's so upset. She really hoped that Harry could have stayed in London longer so they could all spend time together, a royal insider spills. But sources say her warm wishes didn't quite extend to Meghan Markle. Apparently, the Duchess of Cambridge did everything in her power to avoid her sister-in-law during the celebrations. The article goes on to insist that Harry and Markle weren't impressed by the royal's behavior. The insider says the Sussexes expected a warmer welcome, so they didn't feel invited to stick around any longer. But a body language expert tells the tabloid that Markle was the one sending out the most negative energy. Catherine remained very neutral throughout the service of Thanksgiving, the expert notes. But Meghan made a strong passive-aggressive move by turning her head away as Catherine walked past which was disrespectful and childish. This made William very angry. He couldn't control his anger and shouted at Meghan's face. If Meghan Markle really made a strong passive-aggressive move towards Kate Middleton during the widely broadcasted Thanksgiving service, we would have heard about it by now from countless other sources. There were cameras over every inch of the church, but it doesn't seem like any of the major broadcasts caught the moment that this body language expert is so indignant about. So, either it didn't happen, or the moment was so subtle that no other celebrity gossip magazine even noticed. We're also skeptical of this claim that Kate Middleton was devastated to hear of Harry's swift return to the States. According to other gossip sites, the door was open for the Cambridges during the Sussexes' trip. Some outlets are even reporting that Harry and Markle were the ones upset after Prince William and Middleton allegedly failed to make an appearance at Lilibet's first birthday party. Nevertheless, even these whispers are just hearsay. The only ones that truly know how the Sussexes and Cambridges are getting along are in those families. And since we know neither side is letting any information slip to a random tabloid, we're comfortable dismissing this report entirely. Of course, we know better than to trust New Idea on these matters. Not long ago, the outlet reported Meghan Markle was furious with Prince William after he extended an olive branch. Then the magazine claimed Prince Charles was offering the Sussexes a $100 million mansion if they moved back to the UK. And more recently, the publication claimed Harry's family was reaching out to him, begging him to stop his wife. Obviously, New Idea isn't really tuned into the personal lives of the British royal family. Harry and Wills are barely on speaking terms after Megxit, the Sun tabloid reported this month, referring to Harry and wife Meghan Markle's decision to quit frontline royal roles in 2020 and move to the United States. As William has turned 40, the elder brother has embraced the royal establishment and taken on more duties, while the younger spare prince, aged 37, has rejected traditions for a life in California. I suspect. That rift is very deep, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told the Daily Mail. Things used to be so different. After Diana died from car crash injuries at 36, the boys touched the world walking behind her coffin. William was 15 while Harry was just 12. Both attended Eton boarding school and Harry pursued military training, while William went to university. They appeared to share a close bond as William married long-term girlfriend Kate Middleton in 2011 and started a family. This idyllic sort of brotherly relationship that they projected. Did much to put the monarchy back on track, royal historian and author Ed Owens told AFP. But following Harry's 2018 marriage to Meghan, relations have become strained.
Thank you.